just to set the stage, what we'll do is start from scratch, from nothing, initialize a routing model, test it locally, and put it into a production environment in a few minutes. So that's what we'll see here. So with that, let's get going. So I have here just sort of an empty directory with not a whole lot in it. Um, and what we're going to do first is initialize a routing model from a template. Uh, we provide a next move command line interface, which is the workflow management tool uh, that gets you building models, testing models, trying them out, putting them into production environments. It's basically our one-stop shop for building, doing everything decision model related. So in order to create a new model uh, for routing in this case, I'm going to use our routing template and I'm going to put it in a directory. So let's do that. Now I've successfully generated a model. Um, let's go into my router directory where that model boilerplate lives. And you can see here, I have a number of files that have been created for me. Uh, and I'm gonna open those in VS code. All right, and so what is in here? Um, this is all using the Go programming language. So I can see I've got a, a Go model structure created. Um, I have a main function uh, and package and I have some input. Um, and so this is sample input for my routing model. Um, and I can customize this and do whatever I want with it. But if you're familiar with routing problems, you've probably seen data like this before. This is essentially operational routing data that you would get from a microservice or a database. And you would be using directly in your apps and software environment. Um, it has vehicles, it has stops, it has velocities. And again, these things can be restructured, removed, added to sort of whatever your need, need, needs are. I also have some code that's been created for me. So this is a main package. Um, it uses the next move APIs. Uh, it runs a handler, solver handler, uh, and it has a data structure that maps to that input, which again, I can restructure this, add to it, remove it, so on and so forth to customize, customize it to meet my needs in the operational environment that I'm in. And then it has um, a, a routing engine that's created from that input. Uh, so this is a composable API specific to routing engines. Um, I'm not going to go too much into what's all what all is here. You can see that in our docs. We're going to focus on uh, interacting with them. So now that I have this boilerplate created for me, um, I want to start using it. Right. So again, we use the next move command line in order to do this. So I'm going to do what's called a local run. You can see next move run local this directory, and then I can pass it some arguments. Um, so I'm just going to tell it where's the input, and I'm just going to pipe that through uh, JQ to look at the JSON in a cleaner way. Um, most of our infrastructure is JSON in, JSON out. Uh, it was an intentional design decision that we made early. Uh, we've started to support other formats as well, but most of our models are JSON in, JSON out. All right, so we've just solved this model locally, and you can see here I have output data, which has things like routes um, on the vehicles. So these are assigned stops and sequences of routes when we estimate that the vehicle will arrive, depart, so on and so forth. So again, it's operational data. All right, so if I'm a developer and I'm building decision models, this is how I would test things locally. I would experiment. Um, I would uh, make changes to the model and I would uh, run inputs through that and see what the, the results look like. And now I'm ready to go. Let's say I'm going to, ready to go into production. What does that look like? Again, I use the next move CLI and I'm just going to publish this to an, a new endpoint uh, living in next move infrastructure in this case. Uh, and I'm just gonna call it my router. So we have a fairly seamless deployment process where this gets built into just a simple binary chipped up to next move cloud. Um, and I'm deploying it and it's gonna give me back <clears throat> a message saying that it succeeded. And now I want to do exactly the same thing, but I'd really like this model to be living in production. So I'm gonna want to send it the same input and have it auto scale as needed. It's sort of a cloud native endpoint right now. I don't have to worry about managing it or, or scaling it and so on and so forth. So in this case, instead of a local run, we're doing a, a, a remote run. So I'm submitting the same input uh, and I'm using a you know different configuration or a configuration that's set up in that, that cloud console environment. And you can see that it gives me back a run ID. And I can query and say, you know, did it, did it produce output? And this is the same output. Um, I can also ask, like, is it, you know, was it successful? That sort of thing. Um, so that is our uh, model development and publishing workflow.